let's look at uh, unit four model one and uh, that has to do with the legal issues at startup of business before somebody starts business it is very very critical for you to know all the laws behind the type of business you are doing and even the, the location even the particular product you are going to offer if there is no law or there will be chaos so it's important to know what the law says and as much as possible like i said some of the legal requirements for a startup include registration of business name how did you pick your business name some people i hear names like george bush holy holy angels and names like that it's good to pick the a business a name you like but in order for it to be legal you need to go and do what is called search you search to make sure no other person is answering such name no other business has such name then you need to incorporate your business whether it is partnership or sole proprietorship or form a li limited liability company each one has its own legal requirements then you should get a federal tax id number they call it tax identification number because some people think that uh, people think that they don't owe anybody and it's only big businesses that pay tax if you don't pay tax you are breaking the law and when you are caught you can never go free is it not better to pay the taxes as as uh, they come due because when you are caught you must pay everything that you are being owed so tax is a very important requirement if you are doing business you must learn about employee laws if you are employing somebody to work for you there are laws covering the uh, they call it labor laws about the employees because everybody has right before 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 the advent of human relations theory of uh, management people were being used as machines in fact you know some people still bring people from their villages and still want to use them as machines no you must learn that there are laws covering employees so employees to work make contribution is a stakeholder in the organization so it must be protected you now obtain the necessary permits and licenses pertaining your particular business if you're in health business you must obtain some permit from the ministry of health to enable you to do the business if it's ordinary buying and selling uh maybe the registration of a, a business name will be enough for you but if you want specialized areas there are particular permits for specialized areas of uh, business you will file for trademark protection if you have a trademark you want to protect it so that no other person will use it you have to file for that protection you now open a bank to start building business credit is very very important because if you don't have a business credit if you go to ask for loan from the bank nobody will listen to you they want to know how credit worthy you are it is a risk to lend money to somebody without credit history in conclusion therefore we are saying that company filings and regulations may not be the most exciting part of your startup the point i'm trying to make here is that they may be demanding and sometimes uh, they may be uh, there may be five prints that you need to to read 
there may be hidden things that are there that you don't understand but it is critical to the health of your business and personal finances to do the right thing at the right time so that you will be on the side of the law it, it may be uh, good to uh, it's advisable actually to get a tax accountant or a good lawyer with a specific uh, experience in the industry you are going to embark on when you get professionals all you bother about is the professional fee and they do all the nitty-gritty works for you and make sure that uh, you are not shortchanged i will stop here for now until we see you again bye